In a response to a large-scale incursion of Russia over Ukraine, the NATO and the West pledged to send more troops including land, air and naval support to its allies in Ukrainian soil. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg did not give any details about the number and the placement of troops that will be deployed. Today the North Atlantic Council decided to activate our defense plans at the request of our top military commander, General Todd Walters. The NATO response force is estimated to be up to 40,000 troops. However, Stoltenberg said he would not be deploying the entire force. The declaration came after NATO members counted Estonia and Bulgaria prompted urgent meeting about their security within fears from the Russian military operation. This is a prudent and defensive step to protect and shield allied nations during this crisis. And it will enable us to deploy capabilities and forces including the NATO response force, to where they are needed. According to officials, a few of NATO's member countries are supplying Ukraine with weaponry, ammunition and other equipment, but NATO as a whole body is not. It will not take any military action to defend Ukraine, which is a close ally but has no chance to be a NATO member. The Baltic members, however, have said that the West should send more support to Ukraine, including humanitarian aid. NATO has also activated an emergency planning system in the short term to allow commanders to move forces swiftly. In addition to 5,000 already deployed troops, the Pentagon said on Thursday that it will send 7,000 troops to Europe.